So there's this incredible London based artist called Shoots. He draws and paints these kind of crazy spherical dribbling head characters. He does paint other stuff as well obviously. But today we're going to be focusing on these dribbling head characters. Actually let me rewind real quick. So I was scrolling through my Insta feed and I came across this sick sculpt by Shoots. And I was all like, yo, that sculpt is dope, dude. And he was all like, yeah, I know. Actually, he doesn't talk like that. He was actually more like, thanks, Keys. I sent a few out to artists to collab on. We'd be happy to send one to you. I was like, uh, hell yeah. And a couple of weeks later, this bad boy turned up in the post. Money world. Holy shit. I thought this thing was going to be small. Look at this thing. Holy shit. So I could jump straight into modeling on top of this, but I don't want to freestyle. So the first thing I did was take a picture of the sculpt. It's always better to kind of make your mistakes and procreate, work out the colors and kind of have a plan instead of just jumping straight into it. So if you watched my previous videos, you know how much I love this product. A two-part poxy putty called Milliput. You mix the two together and you've got four hours before it dries. It really helps to have such a cool base to work over. It already looks so damn good. So the milliput is starting to set but I need to give it another 3 hours roughly just so it's completely bone dry, completely hard and then it will be ready to paint. As always I'm going to be using the Liquitex Heavy Body, the paint I use for everything, uh, my favourite type of acrylic paint. Um, so yeah let's just jump forward 3 hours in time and paint this bad boy. The painting element is definitely one of my favourite parts because it really brings the model to life. I want there to be a real textural feel to it and I want the food elements to look real. First thing we're going to do is do the base coat, get a really nice cheesy yellow, a really thick vibrant red for Raphael's bandana. And then we're going to go straight on top of that and cut round the mouth with the green. You may have noticed that while I'm making this YouTube video, I'm watching YouTube, catching up with my subscriptions. I mean, maybe you guys are watching me in the background while you're working. That is the only way to work. So this was definitely the most trickiest part. Here I'm just using a ring light to light it from the bottom. This is to help me see if there's any bits that I've missed. I then added a textured fill to the skin tone, some little tiny dimples, spots, scratches and frown lines. I've had heaps of fun painting the sculpts. What I haven't told you is Toots actually sent me two of these. So there's going to be another video coming soon me customising one of these dribbling character blanks. So I'm all finished with my collaboration with Shoots. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I probably wouldn't have done a Ninja Turtle unless it was suggested by Shoots. And I probably would have just had less artwork in my show, but so happy that he got me involved to paint one of these. If you're not already, make sure you go and follow him on Instagram. Go check out his website because he's got some other really cool prints and paintings on there that you can buy. Big shout out to my two Patreons. If you want to join these guys, I've got a link in the description below. I post some original content over there, some behind the scenes stuff. I'm also going to be dropping an NFT for everyone that's supporting me. So come jump on board if you want to get that NFT for free. Big ups to everyone that's come and tuned in to this week's video. Uh, I'm going to finish with some super, super sexy shots of the final results. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ka-pow. Oh, and by the way, we just passed 900 subscribers. If you're not already subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Catch you guys in the next video. Ka-pow.